Okay, super quick technique or tip that I use all the time, pretty much for everything whenever I'm using a router. This is a plunge router. Um, doesn't matter what make, model, or version of router you've got, as long as it's a plunge router or you can put it in a plunge base, this will work. It's super quick and it's very, very accurate. There's no point in measuring. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put a straight cutter in this case in my router. Make sure it goes up to the K line. I'm going to do the collet up. And rather than over tighten it, I'm just going to use the side of my thumb. Tighten that up. Once that starts to cut, that's in there fine. Right. So I've got my router set up, and this is what we're interested in this movable bar and our turret. Mine's quite stiff because I don't like it jiggling around. Normally they have several different posts, heights. I've got a really tall one, one that's quite short, and then a teeny weeny one. These are all adjustable, but I'll be perfectly honest, I only ever use really the very shortest one or the very longest one. It's just the way it works. So let's say, for example, I need to cut a trench or a housing joint or a dado in my work rather than talk about how we're going to guide the router or anything like that we just need to go straight across but i need it done at a set depth all i'm going to do is unlock the plunge drop the router down so that the cutter is resting on the work and then i'm going to tip the machine on the back so let's say for example i need to go you know doesn't matter what the measurement is doesn't matter whether it's metric or imperial now loosen off this bar so that it will drop and pop it down onto the stop at the bottom. Now, if I lock that in place, I can't now plunge the router any further than zero. The distance of this gap here is going to govern how far down I can plunge. Now, if I want to go, let's say, six millimeters, I can read off this scale and count up six millimeters to there lock that in place, that means I can plunge that set distance down, in this case six millimeters. But we might need something to be really quite accurate. Quickest way we do that, or the quickest way I do that, is I can use drill bits. We've all got drill bits kicking around our workshop, some in metric, some in, in imperial. With the router on its side, I can bring that out, put my, in this case, 10 millimeter, drill bit in place, lock it in position, and now my router will plunge 10 millimeters down below its surface. Super quick, super easy. Let's say now we are putting hinges in to a door or a door lining. So, plunge my router down in contact with the material, unlock this bar, take the hinge that I'm using, put hinge leaf in there, and now that will re recess the exact depth of the hinge. Let's say now we're using some kind of template. I put my template on the work I want to route, then zero the cutter, place it on the material, just so it's touching, just a light kiss. Now I can put it, whoop, lock the router, tip it on its back, then use my known distance, so 10 millimeters, or my hinge leaf. Can use the actual leaf of the hinge to set my depth, or a piece of material. To set the plunge, and I'll route to a known depth. If I want to route all the way through this piece of plywood, I'll use a scrap of the same thickness material, and then when I put that in there, I'm just gonna crank it over at a slight angle, which effectively gives me a 
slightly bit. And that's I just I do that because it's easier than putting it into the set distance and then dragging it out. I don't have to touch that. I just kink it over, lock it off, job done. That gives me the ability to route down to past my template into my work and then if need be out through the other side. Really quick, really simple, no measuring and super accurate. Even with cheap drill bits, you're talking fraction of a millimetre. And you don't even have to know what the thickness of whatever it is you're routing through. The most important part of this technique, whether you're using a template or not, is the zeroing. So we just need to make the cutter kiss the surface to get it at zero. If we're a little bit too assertive with our plunge, what we'll do is we'll make sure that the cutter is actually past the zero point. That's going to give us an inaccurate depth. And also, we're going to mark the material. So just a nice, gentle touch. That's zero. Tip it on its back. Something of known thickness. Drop the, the plunge bar. Lock it off. Job done. No measuring, no messing. Accurate every time.